hey guys in today's video i will be showing you how i made this very very gorgeous crochet lace shawl now the pattern for this shawl is available online it's available on yarnspirations.com and today i will be showing you how you can make the shawl using this particular diagram this is the diagram for the main body of the shawl and this is the diagram for the border or the edging of the shawl now i did not make the edging according to this pattern i just made a simple edging of half double crochets so let's get right into it to make this shawl i used a lightweight yarn it's from the brand loops and threads and i will provide the link to this yarn in the description below and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook the finished size of this shawl is 21 inches wide and 64 inches long now of course you can make it as wide or narrow or as long or as short as you want for the shawl i made i started with a foundation row of 131 chains now for today's tutorial i will be showing a very small swatch so we'll start with just 32 chains we'll start with a slip knot now i'm starting with a foundation chain of 32 Once you've made your foundation chains, skip five chains as you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, and into the sixth chain, make a single crochet. So skip five, one, two, three, four, five, into the sixth make a single crochet next chain seven and skip six chains on the foundation chain so if we count this that's one two three four Five, skip five and into the sixth chain make a single crochet one two three four five six seven skip five one two three four five and into the sixth make a single crochet next chain three skip two and into the next chain make a single crochet one two three chain three skip two and make a single crochet into the next chain now just repeat this pattern till the end of the row chain seven one two three four five six seven skip five one two three four five single crochet into the next chain chain three one two three skip two one two and make a single crochet into the next Keep repeating this until you have two chains left. Now 
as you can see I am down to my last two chains so according to the diagram we're gonna skip one chain chain one and into the last chain make a half double crochet chain one skip one and a half double crochet into the last chain now this was our foundation row as you can see here this was row number one which was our foundation row now rows number two through nine is a repeat so once we complete rows two three four five six seven eight nine we'll once again come back to row number two so it's just a pattern repeat of these eight rows now for row number two chain one make a single crochet into the first stitch so turn your work and make a single crochet into the first stitch which was actually our half double crochet from the previous row next into the seven chain seven space that we have made we'll be making three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one and three double crochet all into that chain seven space one two three chain one one two three chain one one two and three next make a single crochet into the chain three space this is our chain three space make a single crochet and repeat this pattern till the end of the row in each chain seven space make double crochet three times a chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets and then into the chain three space make a single crochet Now, once you reach the end of row number two, you see we have this chain space, which was our turning chain from the previous row. We'll just make a single crochet into that turning chain space. And that was row number two. For row number three, We'll start with the chain 9 and the chain 9 counts as a triple crochet plus chain 4. So chain 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, as you can see in the diagram, we will make three single crochets on top of the three double crochets which are right in the center. So we have our first three double crochets and this is our middle three double crochets and we'll make one single crochet on top of each of these three so one two three next chain four one 
two, three, four, and a triple crochet on top of the single crochet. So yarn over twice and insert your hook on top of the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two. And that is our triple crochet. Once again, chain four, one, two, three, four. Make three single crochets on top of the middle three double crochets. One, two, three, chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over twice, make a triple crochet on top of the single crochet. One, two, three, chain four. One, two, three, four. Three single crochets. One, two, three. And keep repeating this pattern until the end of the row. Once you reach the end, chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over three times, one, two, and three. This is a quadruple crochet. Now into the single crochet from the previous row, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That was row number three. Now for row number four, chain one, turn your work, make a single crochet on top of the very first stitch. Now we'll chain four, make two double crochet into the middle stitch of the three single crochets we've made. Then we'll do chain four again. Now on top of the triple crochet we've made, first we'll make a single crochet, chain three which is our pico stitch and one more single crochet into the same space. So chain four, one, two, three, four, two double crochets in the middle stitch of these three. One, two, chain four, one, two, three, four. Make a single crochet on top of our triple crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and a single crochet back into the same stitch to complete a pico. And just repeat this pattern, chain four, one, two, three four, two double crochets into the middle stitch, one, two, chain four, one, two, three, four, a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three and a single crochet back into the same stitch to make a beautiful pico. Repeat this till the end of your row.
Once you reach the end, chain four, one, two, three, four, and into the turning chain nine space from our previous row, we'll make a single crochet. And that was row number four. For row number five, we'll start with the chain seven, which will count as our double crochet and chain four. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn your work. Make a single crochet right before these two double crochets. Chain three, one, two three and a single crochet after the two double crochets so we've made this chain three space right on top of the two double crochets now chain seven one two three four five six seven make a single crochet once again right before the two double crochets chain three one two three and another single crochet after the two double crochets so we're basically alternating between chain three space and chain seven space again chain seven one two three four five six seven single crochet right before these two double crochets chain three one two three and a single crochet after the two double crochets once you reach the end of your row chain four one two three and four and make a double crochet on top of the very last stitch which is a single crochet from our previous stitch and that was row number five for row number six we'll start with the chain three which actually counts as a double crochet one double crochet chain one and three double crochet all into the chain four space So this row is quite similar to row number two, except for the way it ends and starts. Otherwise, it's quite the same. In each chain seven space, you'll be making the three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. In each chain three space, you'll be making a single crochet. The only difference is for row number two, this is how we start. For row number six, we're starting slightly differently. So, chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, a double crochet, chain one, three double crochets, one, two, three. Now, we have the chain three space, so make a single crochet and into the chain seven space, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, three double crochets, one, Two, three, chain one, three double crochets. One, two, three. Next, we have the chain three space, so make a single crochet and just keep repeating this till the end of the row.
once you reach the end of the row as you can see we have this chain seven space from our previous row so we'll just make three double crochets one two three chain one and two double crochets one and two this was row number six now for row number seven we'll start with the chain one and two single crochets on top of the first two stitches which are our double crochets from the previous row and once again row number seven will be quite similar to row number three the only difference is how they start and end but exactly the same as we have worked row number three we will chain four work a triple crochet on top of the single crochet chain four and work three single crochets so we've chained one make two single crochet on top of the first two stitches one Chain four, one, two, three, four, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the single crochet, yarn over pull through, one, two, three, chain four, one, two, three, four, find your middle three stitches make a single crochet on top of each of these stitches one two three chain four one two three four yarn over twice insert your hook into the stitch keep repeating this pattern until the end Once you reach the end of your row, we'll be working two single crochets into the last two stitches. So one, and that's our chain three, which actually counts as our double crochet. And two. So that was row number seven. For row number eight, we'll start with a chain three, which counts as our double crochet and one more double crochet into the very first stitch. So one, two, three, turn your work, a double crochet into the very first stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And just as we worked row number four, We'll work a pico on top of our triple crochet. So insert your hook, make a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and one more single crochet into that very same stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four, two double crochets into the middle stitch. And just keep repeating this pattern to the very end when you reach the end of your row chain four one two three four and work two double crochets into the very last stitch one and two so that was row number eight. For row number nine, we will start with a chain three and that counts as our half double crochet and chain one. And we'll single crochet right after these two double crochets from the previous row. So one, chain three, 
one, two, three. Turn your work and make a single crochet right after these two double crochets. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a single crochet before the two double crochets. Chain three. One, two, three. Another single crochet after the two double crochets. And just keep repeating this pattern of alternate seven chains and three chains. Once you reach the end of your row, chain one and make a half double crochet into the last stitch. And that was row number nine. So we have completed the eight rows that we will be repeating. So after you are done with row number nine, once again, you will start with row number two. So you're just going to chain one, make a single crochet on top of that first stitch and repeat the pattern as usual. Keep repeating rows two through nine until you have your desired length. All right, when you are ready to finish off your shawl, try to end at either row number four or eight with just a slight change. Instead of the pico, we'll work a single crochet. As you can see, I've just worked a single crochet. Now, in this particular pattern, they have provided the edging and they've given three rounds. So first, they've made an entire round of single crochets just to form the base of the edging. Then loops of chain seven and chain three, just as if we have done in the main pattern. And in the chain seven space, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one and three double crochet. But in the chain three space, they have made a pico instead of a single crochet. So if you want, you can make this particular edging. For my shawl, I just made a simple edging of half double crochets. So chain two and start working half double crochets. When you reach your corners, it's always nice to work some extra stitches to add that perfect curved edge. Once you're done, just finish off with a slip stitch, cut your yarn and weave in the ends. So that was the tutorial for the crochet pearl wrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.